This is my review of the Basis car vacuum cleaner and this is the Basis A2. If you're looking for information about this particular car vacuum cleaner or if you're looking for a small and portable handheld vacuum, keep watching. I'm going to talk you through the features of this device and I'll show you exactly what it does and does not do. I am going to be covering both the pros and the cons in this review. Let's start off by having a look at what comes in the box. So of course in the box you'll get the Basis vacuum cleaner itself. You also get this white box which comes with all of your vacuum cleaner accessories. The accessories include a two-in-one suction nozzle, one blowing hose, a USB charging cable, and you do also get a storage bag. It is a nice little extra that this bag is included. The vacuum and the accessories fit easily into the bag and you can tighten this bag by pulling on these strings. Okay, so I've charged up the vacuum cleaner. It's time to give this a try and see how it works. After turning on the vacuum for the first time, one of my first thoughts was, wow, this vacuum cleaner is really loud for its size. Of course, you do expect a vacuum cleaner to make some sound, but I just wanted to make you aware this is pretty loud and I don't think they've put any effort into making this quiet when they design this vacuum. The vacuum cleaner is made from solid plastic. On this side, you've got the Basis logo and you also have the on off switch here. On the other side, you've got the USB charging port and this device charges up using the provided USB-C cable. On the sucking side of the vacuum, you'll find this plastic cup and you can use this to sit the vacuum cleaner upright. Taking this cap off, you'll see the suction mouth over here. This entire section can be removed and you'll find the filter here and this little section here is actually where all of the dust and debris is stored when using the vacuum. So you can use this vacuum just as is like this, or you can insert the two-in-one nozzle. This depends on your personal preference and also what you're actually cleaning. While this little cleaner is marketed as a car vacuum cleaner, you could really use it to clean up any little spills around the house. The way this device works is it sucks in air from this end and it blows that sucked air out of the other end over here. And this means you can actually use this other end as a blower. All you need to do is attach this blowing nozzle here and then you can use this to blow dust off all different types of spaces. I think it's really convenient that you can actually use this in both modes. The battery takes three to three and a half hours to charge from empty and this charge should give you around about 18 minutes of actual use. Unfortunately, there is no battery indicator light on this device, so there's no way to know how much charge you have left on the vacuum. Another concern that I have is the dust bin on this vacuum is really small. Vacuum bin capacity is typically measured in liters and just for comparison, an everyday standard vacuum like this one has a capacity of about 1.6 litres. This Dyson V8 vacuum has a capacity of 0.54 litres and this robot vacuum cleaner is around about the same at half a litre. This little handheld vacuum cleaner from Basis has a capacity of 0.06 litres and it's really not hard to see how quickly this little bin space will fill up. You're really not gonna be able to vacuum anything substantial with this, only very small messes. For me, the main positives of this vacuum are it is practical and small. It does fit 
in a glove box and it's easy and fairly lightweight to hold. I do like the fact that you can use this as a blower and the fact that this can run for 18 minutes on one charge is not bad. The negatives are this is really loud. Vacuum cleaner much louder than I expected it to be and also the dustbin is very small. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this vacuum cleaner. Would you consider buying one of these for your car? I'm the Before You Buy Guy, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.